Okay, we're uh, looking at the Precision Designer interface, and today I'm just going to give you a, a quick one over on how to uh, uh, use our software. Uh, you'll notice that it's very simple. There's not a lot of uh, uh, screens that pop up on the, on the side here. Uh, we have a stats menu down here that you can put away by clicking stats. Um, I suggest that you know if you get the software, you go through it and just play with it. There's not a whole lot of tabs to, to learn. Um, it's much more user-friendly than some of the others I've used in the past, and I've used just about all of them. So um, let's go ahead and create a board. So let's go to uh, New, and you'll see where we have uh, uh, multiple design templates to pull from. We did that so that you don't have to spend a lot of time creating and generating new guide points throughout the uh, curve. So we'll go ahead and open up Shortboard. Squash Tail. Uh, here you have guide points. I can click on the guide points and use my uh, arrow keys to manipulate those in and out, back and forth. You'll see that uh, very quickly the ruler came up and it shows you where you're at in position of the board. You can drag that through and it shows you the width of the board at the, the desired X position and then also the uh, millimeter measurement. Felt that that was quite important. Right now I'm going to go ahead and change to um, inches down here in my uh, stats bar and let's say that I was happy with my board and I want to actually adjust the length, I can simply go and type in from 6.4 to 6.0 and I will go up here and hit execute and not only did it change the length of the board but it also changed the outline width. We have an algorithm that changes or a, a, excuse me, a scaling algorithm that actually kind of manipulates the board all at once so that you can scale it up or down once you're satisfied with your design. That's pretty much it for outlines. Uh, if, if these are in your way and you wanted to get a, a better view of your board, you simply go down here and click on uh, draw points and you'll see we completely eliminate uh, that opening up your view. So let's move on to uh, rocker real quick. Same thing here, you can click on the points and adjust them simply by using your arrow keys or you can pull them with your mouse. Um, again, left click on the board in any position and your uh, ruler comes up giving you the length, the thickness, and the rocker in both inches and millimeters. Again, you can uh, eliminate those draw points, if you will, or guide points, and so you have a clear view of what's going on being able to scroll through the board. Uh, so once you're satisfied with that, you you know, making your adjustments in your rocker, um, you can then go to slices and this is a pretty a pretty unique way how, how we kind of manage our slices a lot of programs give you multiple slices down here I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the stats bar and you have to go through and delete them uh, we tried to save time and just basically say you know what we know that you're gonna have to start from the middle and work your way out so we just start with the center and we force you to kind of build out both uh, to tail and nose I'm gonna go ahead and make a um, uh, single concave here and again this is I'm um, just doing this kind of quick to give you an idea of what's going on how to use our software um, notice that basically I just pulled down the uh, the guide point there and uh, you know I just created my single uh, measurements up here give you the uh, from zero bar which is here the rocker on the belly of the board also the depth of the the convex or the concave you can see right there we're standing right at uh, negative 0.2 inches from the zero bar. And I'm going to go to my next um, slice. Well, this is pretty typical. So we use click on the board below and we simply just find the position we want to set our sli next slice at and we hit add a slice. And now I'm going to go ahead and make my double concave. And I'm just going to pull it. And again, I'm, I'm not really going to go through everything and be real precise here. I'm just giving you an idea of how to, how to work with the software. So there's our double and I can always uh, grab that and m move it if I wish. Um, and we like to have two slices on each side of the center slice. So the next slice what I'm going to do is I'm going to go find my position where I'm going to put some B. And I think that that'd be fine, 3.8 inches. I'm going to add another slice. Now this is where it gets a little bit uh, interesting because here the, the slice gets small. This zero bar or zero line represents how high or the you know the bottom of the, the board is right there to the zero. And by calling up the ruler, you can see that you can take that measurement. You can see at 3.8 inches we are 1.5 inches above the uh, the, um, the the stringer line there.
And so what we're going to do here is we're going to simply just make some V's. So the first thing I do is I just pull this down towards uh, convex. Four, five, I count those clicks. I have to do the same there. One, two, three, four, five. And I have to do the same on the deck. Whoops. One, two, three, four, five. And uh, in order to get that hard edge that a lot of you guys like, you just start coming out this way. And this is the proper way to do this. And uh, go ahead and click on that one. And we'll just bring it in real quick. And you can see that's a pretty nice edge there. So then we're just going to build out some slices. The slices copy each other. Um, you see where that copied. I'm just going to go ahead and make this a uh, very simple flat bottom, if you will. And so in order to do that, when you start clicking up on things, you have to do that on the outer uh, edge rail and then on the top in order to keep the uh, line perfect. So this point right here is really important that that stays uh, within a smooth uh, transition throughout the board through all your slices otherwise you can end up with very jerky cuts we could add another slice if we wish simply by doing that and that's really what our program likes you can move these manipulate them um, our algorithm uh, allows the cutter to go from point A to point Z and it, it interpolates uh, the moves or, or the depths or the, uh, the V of each one of these slices and gives you a perfect curve uh, or, or a perfect transition in between all these different points. So at that point, we just go hit save. We call the board new, new, and uh, we save it where we want. And uh, that's our precision design software, uh, one over. Uh, we'll get more detailed information later, but just wanted to give you guys a feel for how it works.